Good night, good night all. How y'all doing? Well, I'm just gonna get into this right quick because I don't want to be on long. I realized the last video was real lengthy. Um, but good night to all of you. Blessings. Um, just wanted to continue part two of what to do and what not to do when uh, you're waiting on your God and ordained um, spouse. So we already covered what to do and now we are going to cover in section two or part two uh, what not to do while you are waiting on your God um, ordained spouse. Amen. And like I said earlier in the other broadcast, if you watch the first broadcast, if you are tuned, were, was tuning in, um, 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 into the first broadcast, um, 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 we to, we spoke about what 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 to do while you are waiting on your God ordained husband, and now in uh, part two we are going to discuss what not to do while you are waiting on your God ordained um uh, mate. Amen. What are not to do while you are waiting on your God ordained mate and we are not going to be on long tonight I'm just going to make this probably less than 15 minutes probably less than that I'm gonna um, uh, um, give you this and get right on on the uh, out of the way amen right out of the way uh, if you did not watch part one go and watch part one um, very informative um, um, you will find that you are blessed by um, by it uh, go and take a, 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 a look at it Share it with somebody, man. Share the, share the broadcast with somebody. If you are here, good night to you. Blessings. Um, many of you, uh, I think you're watching probably from tablets and from laptops and computers, and I'm not able to see your name when you come up. So if I don't acknowledge you, forgive me because I cannot see your name. But if you do say hi, I would be able to see that you are watching, and I'll be able to uh, uh, say hello. Uh, but if you are here, go ahead, share the video for me. Uh, be a blessing to me and share the video with somebody else uh, so someone else can tune, on, tune in along with you amen so like i said we already did part one of what to what um, um 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 what to do and what not to do when you are waiting on your god ordained mate so we have already discussed part one which is uh what not what um what to do sorry what to do so now we are going to part two which is uh what not to do amen so the first um, um point that I want to give you in what not to do is number one. It is do not be so desperate for a mate that you compromise your standards or character. Amen. Do not be so desperate for a mate that you compromise your standards and your character. That is a, a, a step one in what not to do while you are waiting on your spouse. You do not want to be so desperate for a mate or so desperate to be with somebody or so desperate to be in a relationship that you find yourself compromising who you are as a person, compromising uh, uh, your standards and, and, and devaluing who you are as a person just to have somebody uh, on the side of you just to have somebody to have dinner with, just to have somebody to lay on side of you um, in bed. Uh, you do not want to compromise your character. You do not want to compromise uh, 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 your values and your standards. Amen. You do not want to compromise when it comes to that. So that is step one. Uh, uh, step two is uh, uh, do not... Um, <laughs> Do not run or chase after, do not run or chase after men. My God, do not run or chase after men. And listen here, uh, I want to target this one specifically just for the females. This is just for um, 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 the females. Do not uh, run or chase after men. I can't, I can't even stress that enough to the females. Stop chasing after men. We got to learn how to become ladies once more. We need to learn how to become females once more. When a female uh, 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 used to wait to be caught by a male, when a female used to wait for a male to come uh, and ask her out for a date. But you have these day, you in these in this day and time, you have females running after men. You have females asking uh, men to marry them, proposing to men. You have females going out there and saying, "Hey, I like you. What you saying? Let's go." And you have females that say to males, "Listen here, I don't want to." relationship i don't want anything with you i just want to have sex with you and that's it no strings attached i just want to have a, a sexual relationship and and that's it and you'll find that as females we get ourselves caught up we got we get ourselves in such a, a, a deep emotional um, um problems and baggages because really and female and really and, and and truly we as females we are emotional we can't just sleep with somebody and say okay yeah i'm fine with it unless we are dealing with our demonic spirit we can't just sleep with someone and say you know what cut it 
it off. I finish. I done. I don't have no feelings for you. No, after a while of sleeping with somebody, you're going to become attached to that person. So we can't just say, okay, let me just have sex with you and then I, I can uh, unattach myself to you and just move on with my life. No, it ain't that easy. So uh, you find women in this uh, 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 day and time running after men and doing the things that men used to do. You find now that the men are the ones who are just laid back and casual, you know, the men, you know, they just laid back and the females running after them, the females asking them out for dates, the females taking them out to dates, the female paying for the drinks, paying for the food, paying for the rent, paying for the light bill, paying for everything. I mean, where we get this thing from. So, 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 man, listen, women, females, women women ladies we need to stop chasing after men uh, and this reminds me of the scripture in the bible that says uh, uh the scripture in the bible when it says he who finds a wife finds a good thing he who finds a wife finds a good thing listen yeah it didn't say the woman who finds a husband finds a good thing no the bible didn't say that or i did not read that bible that you read uh the bible states clearly to us that he which is a male who finds a a a, a a wife, which is a woman, finds a good thing. So you need to stop chasing after men. And then it goes on to say the part that we mostly don't like to read because we only like to read one part or one section of the Bible that basically just suits our needs. And then we just, you know, overlook everything else. It says that um, 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 the man, the male, he, the male, he will obtain favor from the Lord. That's the part that we tend to, uh, to, to overlook a, um, um, a lot of time. Oftentimes, we overlook uh, the second part of the scripture. Yeah, we know the part um, 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 that says, he who finds a wife finds a good thing. But we tend to overlook the part that says, he who finds a wife finds a, um, 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 finds a good thing and obtains favor from the Lord. Listen here. One time... I can't remember exactly when this was, but um, I find myself um, in my bedroom and I just was laying down and I was thinking, man, and I just was, uh, you know, I was like, Lord, um, I wonder why. And I was reading the scripture and I was meditating, meditating on it. And the spirit of the Lord said to me, um, why are you going over there chasing a male? Don't you understand that you are robbing him of his favor? My God, this is for somebody tonight. This is for a female tonight. Why are you chasing after the man? Why are you chasing after a husband? Why are you chasing after a boyfriend? Don't you understand that you are robbing him of his favor? So for most of us women, we go out there because we feel like God taking too long and then we grab Johnny and then we say, okay, we're going to uh, marry Johnny, put him inside the house. So now Johnny is inside the house and yet everything is going wrong. Johnny can't keep a job. Johnny can't stay on the job. Whenever he finds a job, a couple of months, he get fired. Uh, 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 whenever Johnny goes somewhere, it's always problem. There's always chaos in the home. There's always arguments. There's always problems. And we're trying to figure out what's going on in our marriage. Mind you, Johnny is not a bad person. You know, he's not a bad person but you always find that there's always a problem man there's always something going on why because you found him you went and picked him up you get him out of the street and put him in the house and made him your husband it was not the other way around he did not find you so therefore you robbed that man of his favor so the very thing that god was going to bless him with when he goes on the job to find favor or where he wherever he goes to find favor with god he cannot find that favor from god now because you have robbed him of that opportunity you have robbed him of his favor because he did not find you but rather you went out and you found him so women in this day and time i want to say to you and i want to get i want to say this loud and clear stop robbing men of their favor listen here stop robbing men of their favor by going out there and finding your own husband listen here we need to learn how to wait on god i know it is get tiring sometimes i'm going on almost four years being celibate i'm going on 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 well actually it is four years I'm celibate. I'm going on four years of just, you know, being by myself. I understand the pressure. I understand what it is when you just want to have sex sometimes because especially for us who have already been sexually active, for us who have already had children, we already know what this thing is all about. So when your flesh start to rise up now, when you want to have sex and you're trying to figure out, Lord, what I can do, you're trying to pull out your hair, you're trying to do, I understand all of that. And these are the things that they don't teach us in church. They don't teach us um, um, what to do in church. All they tell you is come to the Lord, let go of that fellow who paying all the bills, leave that woman who helped 
helping you out with your children. I just leave everything and come to the Lord. But they never tell you how to deal with your flesh when it starts to rise up. They never tell you what to do when you can't pay your bills. They never tell you what to do when everything seems to be going wrong. They did not teach you that part. They did not teach us that part. So now we are in um, the body of Christ and we are trying to live right. And, 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 and we are trying to say, you know what? It's been two years. It's been three years. It's been four years. It's been 10 years. And I can't find a mate. So therefore we get tired and we go out there and we search, which is point number uh, uh, three, which says that uh, well, well, point number three is don't get tired and go choose for yourself. Don't get tired and go choose for yourself. Because when you get tired and you choose for yourself, man, this way we mess up. We mess up because we go there, we yuck this man um, 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 from wherever he be yucking from. And then we try to put him in the house. We try to put him in the church. We try to clean him up. And we try to say, oh God, let me present him to you when it's supposed to be the other way around. He is supposed to go out there. The male is supposed to go out there, find his wife, and then he presents his wife to God. This is how he obtains his favor from God. So women, we have been robbing men of their favor. We have been robbing them of their favor from God because we went out there and we found them instead of them allowing the man to find us. We went out there and we snatched him up out of somewhere. Amen. So in this season, we need to learn how to uh, 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 stop, stop. I know you get tired sometimes, but then we need to learn how to put our flesh under subjection. We need to become more disciplined when it comes to our flesh. We need to learn how to be more disciplined in our thought process. We need to learn to, 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 to evaluate and say what is more important to me. We need to learn how to weigh out the pros and the cons, man. Is it better for me to have somebody on the side of me? Is it better for me to sleep with somebody tonight and then I have to turn around and repeat the same cycle over and over again? Why? Because I didn't learn my lesson the first time. I slept with Johnny um today and then I'm not married a year later. But I have to go through the same process over and over and over again. Why? Because I didn't learn my lesson from the first time. I didn't learn that I need to consecrate myself. I didn't learn that I need to be separated. I didn't learn that that I need to stop sleeping around and stop fornicating and stop um, 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 sleeping with Tom, Dick, and Harry. I did not learn that lesson. So as a, as, uh, for, as a result of not learning that lesson, we continue going around the same cycle. We continue doing the same thing and we only reaping the same uh, results because we are doing the same things. Yeah, you will get tired sometimes. Yeah, your, your flesh will rise up sometimes. Yes, you will get to the point where uh, 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 you just don't know what to do and you just, you, man, Lord, I just just need you to fix it and I need you to fix it now Lord you get to that point listen I'm a female I've been there I have two children a 14 and a 7 year old so I know what it is when you want to have sex I know what it is when you want a companion I know what it is when you want somebody to go to the movies with you I know what it is when you just want to have an intimate conversation with somebody I know that feeling but I'm saying to you you have to weigh it out and find out what is more important to you is it more important to just have one moment of pleasure versus a are uh, uh, selling your soul out or, 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 or for saying is it is it even worth it so you have to weigh it out uh, 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 do I want to go out there and have sex with this person and turn around having to come to God in shame and in regret and in embarrassment because I know I made a mistake so we have to weigh it out what is very which which one is more important your soul or a moment of pleasure your soul or a mom, moment of pleasure so you have to put it in the balance and you have to weigh it out which one is more important do you rather lose your soul for a moment of pleasure so you have to weigh it out yes you will get tired sometimes. Yes, you will get discouraged sometimes. Yes, the flesh will rise. Yes, sometimes you'll say, man, I'm, I'm Susie over there, get married. Um, Jenny over there get married, Jake over there get married, all of my friends seems to be getting married and they happy and they having babies and you know they buying houses and they buying cars but yet it's been 5 years, it's been 10 years and yet I still cannot find my spouse yes you will get tired, yes you will feel like that sometimes but I'm saying to you to continue to stand and to continue to rely on God because he is about to make a way, don't mind those who getting married and having the good times now don't mind that now but God is breaking some stuff in you, he is repairing some stuff in you. There are some things in you that you were uh, uh, did not deal with in your past. There are some things in you that needs to be pulled out. There are some things in you that needs to be cleansed. There are some things in you that needs to be washed out. There's some things in you that need to be repaired. And God is taking the time to repair some things. He's fixing some things. He's growing you. He's healing you. He's mending you. He's maturing you. And because of the growth, he when 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 he's finished with you, he's going to present you before that husband. And then he's going to say to Johnny, "Hey, this." 
is your wife. And now Johnny is going to come to you and say, hey, listen here, uh, does the Holy Spirit or the, or the Lord say to me that you are my wife? And how are you going to know it's true? Because it's going to be confirmed. The word of God is always confirmed. It is always confirmed. Don't think that Johnny just can say to you, he, he's, um, 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 you are his wife and then you get married tomorrow. I made that mistake before. I made that mistake before. Trust me. Don't just rely on somebody saying, God say, listen here, wait on the confirmation from God. Wait on God for, 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 um, for the approval. Wait on God for the answer before you marry somebody. Amen. So yes, you're going to get tired, but I want to say to you today to be encouraged and stand and wait on God. Yeah, everybody else around you seems to be getting married. Everybody else seems to be laughing right now, but the last laugh is the best laugh. Amen. The last laugh is the best laugh. It, it will be uh, 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 worth it in the end. Amen. It will be worth it in the end. And another thing, another point that I want to make to you, which bring us to point three. I want to say to the females out there, I, I am targeting the females because I've been there, done that. And I know uh, 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 the situation. I've been there. I've done this. Trust me. I fall down and I get up. I think I said this in a few videos before. I already been there. I've made the mistakes. I, uh, I have made the mistakes. This is the reason why I can speak to you the way that I'm speaking to you now because I have made the mistake. Uh, 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 I want to say to you what is step number three um, um for you not to do do not submit to a man i know you saying like what did she just say do not submit to a man yeah that's what i just said i'm taking a, I, i'm just pausing for a few minutes so you can catch on to what i'm saying to you do not submit to a man and when I say do not submit to a man, uh, 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 the Bible uh, 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 state to us that we must uh, uh, be, um, what did it say? I think I need to go and look that up. But then we must submit ourselves to our own husbands. I think that's in Corinthians, I, I believe, somewhere in Corinthians, that we must submit ourselves to our own husbands. He didn't say go and submit yourself to your boyfriend. Go and submit yourself to your uh, sweetheart. Go and submit yourself as a side chick. Go and um, 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 submit yourself as a side piece. No, the Bible never said that. And if you're reading that, you need to show me that. It never says that in the Bible. It says that wives are to submit themselves to their own husbands. Amen. He didn't say to somebody else's husband, mind you. He said wives are to submit themselves to their own husband. So how is it now? that uh, 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 you and Johnny going and y'all been going for 10 years and you've been submitting to Johnny for 10 years and Johnny still ain't put a ring on your finger. You don't think something wrong with that picture? That something got to be wrong with your picture. Why? Because uh, Johnny did not make you an obligation. He did not see it fit to value you. He did not put a value. He did not place a value on you. So so he, he didn't, I trying to find a right way to say this, not to offend anybody because you know some of us could get a little touchy feeling when it comes to this situation. But um, um, if he felt like you were important enough to make you his obligation, then he would have done that in year one, year two. It, did, it does not take a, 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 a fella or a woman three years, five years, six years, ten years to know whether they want to marry somebody as a matter of fact right after the first couple of months this person know whether they want to be with you or not so if they made up in their mind that they didn't want to be with you a few months after they uh, started dating you choice ch chances are 10 years after that they probably still ain't gonna marry you let's just be real here chances are they're still not going to marry you so we have to stop submitting to our boyfriend stop submitting to uh, 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 um, uh as a side chick stop being submissive as a side chick stop being submissive as a sweetheart stop being submissive as the number three number two number four stop being submissive to people that are not your husband that is not your spouse amen because it is commanded in uh, in the bible for us to be submissive to our own husbands amen and the next point that I want to um, make to you. I think I touched this a little bit. Uh, do not marry before God's approval. Amen. Do not marry before God's approval. Many of us, we make the mistake and we go and we marry people before God's 
God give us the approval. As a matter of fact, some of us, we don't take the time to fast. We don't take the time to pray and, and, and wait on the response. We do not take the time to wait on God to say, yes, this is the one. No, this isn't the one. We do not wait. We just go and we pick up um, um Sue, we pick up Johnny, and we say, you know what? Wap, this is who I'm going to marry. But God did not give you an approval. He did not approve that relationship. And then we wondering why things going wrong. We wondering why uh, 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 the relationship ain't working out. Why? Because you choose for yourself. When we choose for ourselves, we tend to make mistakes. But if we allow the Holy Spirit to choose for us, uh, uh, trust me. You in the right place. Amen. You in the right place. So I just wanted to share these pointers with you. Just wanted to share these points of um, um, on which you would not to do while you are waiting on your God ordained spouse. Amen. And point number one was to not be uh, so desperate. Uh, uh, for a mate that you compromise your standards and your character. Do not be so desperate for a mate that you compromise your character and you compromise your um standards. Amen. And uh, and point number two was uh, do not run or chase after a man. Amen. Do not run or chase after a man because you are robbing him of his favor that was promised to him by God when he finds you and make you his wife. Amen. Uh, point number three was don't get tired and choose for your Self. Amen. Do not get tired and choose for yourself because more than likely we can make mistakes. Amen. If we're choosing from our flesh, we are going to make mistakes. Amen. Uh, 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 stop submitting yourself to men. Stop submitting yourself to, 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 to boyfriends. Stop submitting yourself to sweethearts. Stop submitting yourself to the side piece. Stop submitting yourself to people that are not your husband because God cre um, 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 commanded us to be submissive to our own husbands. Amen. And point number four is do not marry without God's approval. Amen. Do not marry without God's approval. Amen. So I just wanted to share these things, these pointers with you uh, 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 tonight. And I pray that this was a blessing to you. Share the video with uh, uh, as many people as possible. Um, 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 this is something that I wanted to do. It's been on my mind for a few days now. And I just wanted to come out and share these pointers with you. I pray that it was very informative. And I pray that it was a blessing to you. And I hope that it uh, helps you in your walk towards finding uh, the uh right mate or the godly mate that god has for you amen the right mate that god has for you so blessings to all of you share the video with somebody and i pray that it be um, um was a blessing to you blessings